Hey, welcome to the Globy Show. Hey, Chef Luna. Hi, Globy. How you doing? Great. So, uh, guys, uh, baby Chef Lucas is sleeping, but uh, me, Chef Luna here is going to show me how to make a, what is it again? A pumpkin cheesecake with ginger snack crust and a homemade caramel applesauce. That sounds yummy, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, Chef Glory is taking care of baby Lucas, so uh, we're going to do this in her absence, but she gave us her blessing for sure. I hope we do a great job. Oh, boy. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get my chef hat. Hold on, hold on. I have something to present to you here at the Globian Show. Your own apron. <gasps> oh, my gosh. It's gorgeous. Thank I hope you, you like it. Yes, I love it so much. Okay. So, uh, Chef Luna, why don't you uh, guide us through this process? Okay. So, I'm going to tell you guys everything I will be using to make this cheesecake. Okay. So, we need a nine-inch round spring form pan. Okay. As well as heavy-duty aluminum foil. And, ooh, <laughs> and if you have it, a cooling rack. A cooling rack? Yes. Okay. So, please. What's next? Okay, before I introduce these next two things, okay, Alobian, mm -hmm. do you want to know why cheesecakes are so clean? Clean? Clean. Okay, tell me. Because they get a water bath. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, okay, okay. So, we are going to need a bigger pan than the nine inch round to make a water bath. Okay. What I'm using is one of like <laughs> one of these guys. Okay. And oh, a cookie sheet. A cookie sheet to put it under. Mm -hmm. Just so it can be easier to pick up because it will be full of water. This sounds so technical. Now the reason we do a water bath is so that the cheesecake can bake evenly. Evenly? Also, it adds moisture to the oven so it doesn't crack. This is so scientific. Yeah. I had no idea. Okay. Okay, so for the crust, okay. we're going to need seven and a half ounces of ginger snack. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Seven? And a half. But, but the easier way of doing it is just getting one and a half cup of finely ground ginger snap cookies. Is that for the crust? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Also, we need one fourth cups of granulated sugar. Sugar! Yay! And five tablespoons of unsalted butter, but we're gonna melt it. Okay, that sounds great. Hey, all right. So, for the filling, mm -hmm. we will need a 15 ounce can of pumpkin. 15 ounce. Got it. And one and a third cup of granulated sugar. Sweet. For the spices, we need one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I love cinnamon. It's one of my favorite spices. Mm -hmm. Half a teaspoon of ground ginger. Of course. A fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. Nutmeg, yes. A fourth of a teaspoon of cloves. Clove, okay. And half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, we will also need one cup of heavy cream. Heavy? Make sure it's cold. Of course, naturally. We also need one and a half pounds of cream cheese. Cream cheese! Or, Check. in other words, three eight ounce packages. Three eight ounce packages? Yes. That's too much math for me. Also, we need five large eggs. Eggs! Got them! And that's all you need for the filling. For the filling? Yeah. Oh, man. This is complex stuff. Please continue. All right. And now for the caramel sauce. Oh, man. My favorite part. We need one cup granulated sugar. Of course. 
Two tablespoons light corn syrup. Light, of course. Two tablespoons of water. Water! I'm 80% of it. Mm -hmm. One eighth of a teaspoon of lemon juice. I love lemons. A fourth a cup of heavy cream. Whoa! Heavy. And one tablespoon of unsalted butter. Yep! All here, check. All right, let's get started. Okay, so now we're gonna get our nine inch pan and we're gonna put it on top of our aluminum foil. Now, although this is leak proof, I just want to be extra careful. And that is the oven right there letting us know that it is ready. We have preheated it to 325 degrees. Okay, it is double wrapped with aluminum foil to make sure no water gets in. Make sure also that it doesn't go so deep so that it doesn't touch your ingredients. So now we're gonna put in our ginger snaps. We're gonna cover. And we're gonna pulse until it's finely chopped. You will also put in the sugar. And we will add the butter until it is nice and moist. And there you have it, the pie crust. Now we're gonna put it in the pan and into the oven. Now we're just greasing the pan. Now we're gonna put in our crust mixture into the pan. And now we're gonna pack it in. Okay, now that it's packed, we're gonna put it into a, our preheated oven. Again, it's to 325 degrees, and we're gonna do that for 15 minutes. Okay, so now, over medium heat, we're going to put our pumpkin. Ooh, sizzle. Our sugar, cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, clove, and salt. And we're going to stir this nice and good. We want it to get nice and shiny. So now we have it. As you can see, it's nice, thick, and shiny. Now, we're gonna transfer this over to the food processor. Okay, so now we're gonna let the mixture run a little bit. And we're going to add the cold heavy cream little by little. Okay, now we're gonna add the cream cheese in chunks. Lastly, we're gonna add the five eggs. Now that the mixture is ready, we are going to put it over the crust and into the oven. And there you have it. This is the color it should look like when you're all done. Okay, so now that you have poured the mixture into the pan, we're gonna put it into the bigger pan, and now we're gonna fill up the big pan with boiling water. And you want it to be enough to go up at least halfway onto the cheesecake pan. Okay, so now that the water's in there, it is ready to go into the oven. Remember, it's 325 degrees, and you want to make sure that you leave it in for at least an hour and a half. Afterwards, you want to check it. If it still jiggles, it is not ready. You put it back in until it's a little firm. Now, for the caramel sauce, we're going to combine your sugar, your water, your corn syrup, and 
the lemon. And you're just gonna mix it together. Now that it's mixed, we're gonna put it in the microwave for four to eight minutes. Just until it starts getting a pale yellow or you start seeing a little bit of color to it. Now, I pulled it out and we're gonna let it sit for five minutes and it should get darker. Okay, so while the syrup um, mixture was cooling for the last five minutes, we heated up our heavy cream. Now we're gonna pour it in to this mixture. It's gonna start bubbling up, but it should not go over. Now you want to stir it all together and then add the butter. And there you have it, a very simple caramel sauce to put over your delicious pumpkin cheesecake. And there you have it, a pumpkin cheesecake. And now for the finishing touches. The homemade caramel sauce. Saying bye bye and see you next time. That's global. Bye.